Meantime, an emotional day at the border. Families reunited with loved ones as part of Children's Day, a holiday celebrated in Latin America. 10 News reporter Matt Mendez talked with a local boy who got to hug his father after four and a half years apart. Looking through this metal grate is about as close as some get to seeing their family members. Well, today they opened this massive gate and some families got to walk across and give their loved ones a hug. Some call it a border hug. The touch of a finger through these tiny gaps in the fencing. Relatives on both sides. Some haven't seen each other in months, maybe even years. Like all sides, not seeing, not seeing each other for a while. We and, they, and we touched fingers. For little Manny Duran, it's been four and a half years since he's hugged his dad. At school, when I see when I see my other friends, um, their dads pick them up. I kind of get all sad and all that. You know what I'm talking about? Manny's grandmother says the father has lived in the U.S. since kindergarten, but things changed as an adult. Well, he got in some trouble probably seven or eight years ago, and then uh, he went to jail, and then they deported him. Manny misses him a lot, but today, it's his lucky day. Border Patrol removed the lock and opened the gate. Five children, one after another, got to hug, kiss, and visit with their loved ones. Some kids walked away wiping tears. Then it was Manny's turn. It seems as though two minutes wasn't long enough in his father's arms. Love has no borders, and what you were able to witness there was something spectacular. Enrique Morones with Border Angels organized the reunion. It falls the weekend of Children's Day, celebrated in Latin America. They brought toys and gave them out to children who left with more than they had expected. At Friendship Park, Matt Mendes, 10 News.